Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to solve for 4, si four sine squared of x equals 1. So to go ahead and do that, um, what we need to do is we need to solve for our x, right? And we want to isolate that. So to do that, I'm just going to divide by 4 on both sides. And I have sine squared of x equals 1 fourth. Now I need to undo the square root, so I'll take a square root of both sides. So therefore, I have sine of x equals, now remember, the square root of any rational um, term can be written as the square root of a over the square root of b. So this is equal to the square root of 1 over the square root of 4. Square root of 1 is just 1. Square root of 4 is equal to 2. So I have the sine of x is equal to 1 half. So now, to determine our solutions of when does what, for what angle is the sine of, that, of whatever that angle we're looking for equal to 1 half. So to do that, we go to our lovely unit circle. And we just go ahead and look at the first quadrant. Our first point at 0 is the point 1 comma 0. Well, obviously, the member sine of any angle is equal to the y coordinate of your point on the unit circle. So obviously, my y coordinate is not 1 half there. Let's go to the next angle, pi over 6. Well, that angle is square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half x, y. Guess what? Ding, 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 ding. We found our first answer. So therefore, I can say x is equal to 1 half. Meaning, I'm sorry, the angle, x is equal to the angle pi over 6. But that's not the only angle that x is going to equal to pi, um, to 1 half in this, in this first quadrant. It's also equal to 1 half with the reflection over in the second quadrant. That angle. Why? Because this angle, which is 5 pi over 6, has a point of negative square root of 3 over 2, comma 1 half, x, y. OK? So now we have actually two solutions between 0 and 2 pi. However, what we're trying to do is determine all of the solutions. So therefore, I need to determine, well, how am I going to determine all my solutions? Now remember, when we found coterminal angles, coterminal angles allow us to determine at multiple revolutions just by adding 2 pi. So if you're by pi over 6, if I add 2 pi over here, I'm going to get back to that same angle, right? And so it's going to be another solution. So all I need to do is just add 2 pi n plus 2 pi n. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine all of the solutions for your trigonometric equation. Thanks.